Certainly, Craig. We play two really good teams this week in in Missouri and uh, in Arkansas, and uh, two teams that um, that uh, that are very good uh, offensively. Shoot the three. Two teams that that uh, mix it up defensively. So uh, a, a big challenge for us because I think we're playing uh, two teams that uh, that are very good. Our first question is from Dave Matter of the St. Louis Post Dispatch. Mark. I- I- how critical was the, the first Missouri game in, in terms of just building confidence, kind of giving your team an identity to start off SEC play? Oh, I I don't want to devalue that, that game, but we've tried to, to kind of keep our team focused on one at a time, that they're all important. Um, but obviously uh, to, to open up league play with a win – uh, was and a road win versus a versus a terrific team was critical for us because uh, it it allowed us to to uh, to have a, a winning record uh, out out of the gate and and then we we followed that up with a with a home win and so that that was really really big for us because it gave us some confidence moving forward. Next question is from Steve Wallentick of the Columbia Missouri Tribune. Good morning, Mark. Where have you seen the most improvement uh, from from these guys over the course of the conference season? Our, our team or Missouri's? Your team. Uh, you know, we've improved. Uh, uh, you know, I think in a lot of places. I I think that that um, you know we have a, a number of guys who are now comfortable making their offensive plays. You know, I it, we don't have to just rely on on one guy to score. I think we've got a you know we've got a handful of guys now who. Who can finish plays for us, and so we've become a, a, you know, I think a better, a better unit offensively. I think defensively, we've continued to, you know, you know grow and improve, and and um, and 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 just kind of become more consistent, really, at that end than 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 we than we were maybe early in the year. So, uh, but we, I think we're a team that this continued to to uh, to get better, and and obviously, the experience of you know of playing a couple games a week versus good teams has helped our young guys. You know, really, really improve and learn the, the valuable lessons that that uh, the only playing can teach. How much do you, do you think your guys had to learn how to play without Contavious earlier in the year in terms of offense? And I mean, is is that where you've seen the most improvement? Is them being more assertive on their own? Uh, you know, Contavious was a a phenomenal offensive player and 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 the player of the year in the league now. You know, you look at Jabari Brown's numbers, and and Contavious would have dreamed of had those numbers in the league last year. I mean, he's he's uh, he's having a phenomenal conference year. But Contavious was also our leading rebounder and our best defender. And I think that when the year started, that our guys were they worked hard in the off season to figure out ways to score because they knew that was going to be an issue. I think early in the year we were not a very good defensive or rebounding team because we didn't adjust to that part of Contavious's departure. And so I think in December the big adjustment we made was to really replace that, and and uh, the offensive adjustment's been been kind of a steady thing all year. Next up is Charles Odom of the Associated Press. Hey, Coach, um, what do you what do you tell your team as you're getting late into the season about postseason, and and perhaps this week, you know, what what could these two games mean for your guys and 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 a postseason outlook? Oh, we don't talk about it. You know, we're, we're just talking about Missouri. It's one game at a time, and and uh, the rest of it will take care of itself. You know, we just we just um, we we can't manage much more than, than than taking care of things one day at a time. That's that's no disrespect to our our players or our coaches, but just uh, it's it's probably the only, the only way I can function. You know, we just got to take it a day at a time, and that's kind of how we've approached it with our team, and that's that's really all we can do.